Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I'm Julianne Hare, the bearded bombshell of the Scottish drag scene. And today we're going to do the look that I put up to a vote a couple of weeks ago. Um, the majority voted for the biker look, which I'd done, and I'll link up top there. Um, but today we're going to do the neon look today. I'm going to put a focus on the eyes and do a particular thing that I did for a previous look with a nice big kind of graphic line, kind of more bold. Just looking forward to doing a nice, bright, fun look, and I really can't wait to put this wig on. It's such a fun little ponytail that I made, and I'm awful at making ponytails, but this one finally worked. Um, so I'm very happy to just play with some makeup. So let's just get on into it. All right, so starting off with the base already done because there's nothing particularly new here, um, and I'm taking the pink color from my construction palette and kind of stenciling out the lines that I want um, on the top edge. Again, if you want 10% uh, off on Get Face Cosmetics, make sure to use the code Julianne. You'll get 10% off everything on the website. And they've got some great deals going on at the moment with Black Friday as well. So catch yourself a steal with some beautiful makeup. And then we're taking that and blending that out um, quite a bit because um, I kind of want a big, bright, fun look for this one, um, particularly because it's a whole neon thing. And I'm just taking my James Charles palette and taking that kind of dark, kind of mauve purple. Um, and we're using it to deepen up the crease and blend through it with the pink. Um, I tend to do this quite often as just building up the colour slowly but surely to kind of get big impact um, on the look. Um, so you can kind of like really see it from the stage as well as on videos. It's hard to get sometimes the colours to transition well from real life to video content. So it's great to kind of pack a punch by just packing on the colour as well onto your face. Um, so it's taking a lot of that bright colours blending it out as well to make sure they're going together with um, a brush that's got no product on it as well um, and then taking the purple from my cosmetic uh, construction palette again um, and then that just again, again deepens it up um, I find using dark colours um, really great to kind of pull focus your eyes um, and then I'm also taking the purple to kind of stencil out the bottom edge as well so I can kind of figure out how I want the whole eye to look very happy with this one, it's such a fun look to do um, and recreate as well from having done it before. But once I put the purple down again, it's just kind of brighten it up with the pink again um, and then the same purple a shade from the James Charles palette with Morphe. And then we're going in with the white as if I would do a cut crease as normal. Um, with it. That's the Krylon TV paint stick um, and the white. So taking that over and then I powder it with um, I think I used the white shade from the James Charles palette for this, I can't quite remember. Um, but that helps really get like a big stark white um, look on your eye. Alright, and now we're doing um, the inside colour of the eye. So um, I went in again just the same pink shade that I used from my construction palette. I'm using a really fine edge, I think it's a flat um, brush um, I'm using just to kind of stencil out the edge so I know where my pink and white ends um, and then filling in with a larger brush and um, with all that colour on there. It's very different from kind of the normal looks that I do with a cut crease and just you know usual blending and whatnot it's just adapting it ever so slightly and that's the fun part Fun part, fun part to do with drag is getting to try out new techniques and different things that you see. Um, so yeah, this is a, a fun one to do um, with the pink and then having like the white line between the what would be normally considered the cut crease um, and then the shadow on the eye. Then just taking the Kiko gel liner. Um, I'm using a flat brush for this one as well. And I'm opposed to the pen, just trying out new different techniques to try and get like the really sharp lines. Um, but without having to have too much like different products to use. So having to grab another gel liner with a pen and then I can just use brushes. So I'm just pulling that up as normal as I would. Um, of course, I'm not blending it in with the pink on the actual lid of my eye. But what I will do is I'll take that up into the crease I've got, um, dipping it in with a purple. It just takes a lot of time doing this to get it really right. It's something I think most people really struggle with is their liners. And so I want to make sure it's absolutely perfect. With it being a gel liner, it does have a tendency to smudge a little bit, <clears throat> especially if you're getting really warm and sweaty. Um, so I always take a, a black eyeshadow. So I've got a black eyeshadow 
of my construction pallet. I just use that to set it down to make sure it's looking absolutely perfect. Um, I always kind of like pulling my eye to the side as well, just so I know that I've got every bit of it covered, just in case my face pulls in a weird direction and you start seeing the layers underneath. You don't want that, of course. All right, and now this is the point where I am just going back and trying to get more definition and keeping the bright, powerful colours of the pink and purple in there. <clears throat> Sticking both the construction palette and my James Charles palette, so we're building more and more colour up and um, whilst um, blending it out, make sure it's nice and smooth. As I said earlier, I am sometimes using a blending brush that doesn't have any product on and can really help blend out the product and <laughs> living for it. Um, it. Really creates a nice smooth look to what you're making and then just blend, taking it down on the under eye there now as well. So it's taking the purple, the exact same colours up on top and the pink to create the look down below. It really creates a big huge statement eye which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, it's my favourite part of the look is having the eye really, for lots of people it's different points and um, where they feel like oh that's their moment, there are women um, when it's for me it's when I get the full eyeshadow on, get my eyeliner, getting the bottom part done and then adding the lashes. Once the lashes are on I am a woman, you cannot tell me otherwise even if I've got a big old bushy beard uh, sometimes you cannot tell me crap. <laughs> Again, just blend it all out on the bottom just to make sure it's absolutely perfect and um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial bit and um, focusing on the eyes creating a graphic eye and we're just going to get ready and jump into the look um, a big, big fun neon look as well so I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in a sec makeup transformation of my neon girl look. I love this particular eye makeup and I did it before way back months ago I think end of May June so it's nice to bring it back to create a nice big pop of colour again following kind of the neon look that we've got going on here. This dress I got from ASOS on sale is not something I normally gravitate towards to in fact I don't have anything else neon in my entire wardrobe off the top of my head that I can think of. Maybe I've got a neon pink skirt but like that's about it. <laughs> but the fun thing about doing drag is like playing with these different ideas and what your drag character can be and with how short the skirt is on this look it definitely falls into the hero category. And this wig is very cute. I want to reshoot my 60s look this wig on. It'd be very cute kind of 60s mod. the makeup transformation make sure to press the like button down below if you're not already subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a brand new video if you want to check out more of me make sure to do so at both facebook and instagram at julianne here and i'll catch you all in the next one bye folks <laughs>